Oh, hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, Matt. What's up? It's not an Overwatch night. I think I'm a bit... I'm a bit tired for that. I had like a... Oh, man. Long day of work. I had a... I got there at what? I got there at 9. I got there a little late. I had to take my girlfriend to the airport in the morning, though. So that was the whole thing. She I had to wait, wait, be up at like 4.50. And then um, got back. Fell asleep. I'm trying to remember. It was a really long day. Uh, I'm only level 32? Jeez, I'm supposed to be like 65 to fight Sephiroth. These are basically the same. Um, I went to work until 9.30, so 12 hours. It took a long day, and it was like, it wasn't even a, like a nice leisurely 12, it was like doing stuff the entire time 12. <laughs> not that you should, you know, not that I'm complaining, but... Long day, long day. Try to set up a time so I can make it. Try to set up a time so I can make it in for you. Glad that you're streaming. Oh yeah, so um, it is just crazy right now, um, but it should be a little bit less crazy next week. And then if we get picked up for uh, the series, I'll be around like after 5:30 or 6 every day. That you know, usually I don't do Wednesdays or Thursdays, but. It's all malleable. You can, you know, we can change it up or do whatever. So it's not that big of a deal. But um, where? What? Oh yeah, I was gonna do the postcards. I just have. I'm gonna do them real quick because I have a, I have a list of postcards. Where is it? Where is my list of postcards? Did I get rid of that list? No, I didn't. I come to support it when you have a fixed schedule. Awesome. Okay. No, thank you very much for saying that. I will have a fixed. I mean, I basically do it every day besides Wednesday and Thursday. But it's just, the time is just you know, it changes depending on the day. So, but thank you very much for being here just now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm getting over cold, so I sound a little weird. But at least it's better than it was before. Ooh, just burnt my tongue for the second time today. Ow, ow, ow. That smarts. <laughs> oh, that was that was rough. Um, okay, so let's gonna get these postcards real quick because I'm annoyed to not have them. So I believe I need to go to the top of the accessory shop real quick. This this whole deal. Jump on top of this. Can I jump on top of this? This horn thing? Oh, I don't think so. I had to climb to the top of this building. I don't know how, though. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. One sec. There we go. I can, uh... I can play a little louder and later, because my uh, girlfriend is not currently here, so... There's that postcard. Can we just jump? I love this game because it has weird stuff like this. Like, can we jump through? Into there, through the... No, oh, we can't. Never mind. I don't like this game. <laughs> That's fine. Um, hit the fan the item shop. We haven't done that, so let's do that real quick. Roll, roll. Item shop. Where's the fan? Oh, yeah. The heck? Like, what a random... How would I know how to find that otherwise? Um, crack open the blue save. We did that. <laughs> Jump on the awning of the shoe store in District 2. Definitely have not done that, so. Um, I was watching a speedrun of this earlier. It was pretty impressive. I, I like watching speedruns quite a bit, and the guy who did this one was really good. So, shoe, sh shoe store. Boots. Wait. The awning? On top of the awning. Jump on the up on the awning. Am I not on the awning? Oh, the shoe store. Boots and shoes. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Disneyland. Yeah, I mean, we got Goofy and Mickey hanging out. Er, not Goofy, Mickey. Goofy and uh, Donald hanging out with me, so. <laughs> Definitely makes sense <laughs> that it would. I'm sorry. I just took a shower, so my voice is a little... I don't know why. I feel like it sucked like the moisture out of my body. 
So I just got dry suddenly, but otherwise I feel a lot better than I did. My voice definitely sounds a lot better. So let's jump up on the awning. I think I already got this one. After locking the Traverse Town keyhole, look at the paper on the wall in the synthesis shop. 99100, how are you, our friend, our subscriber? I hope you're doing well today. I apologize I wasn't on yesterday. It's been lots of just late nights at work. Oh man. I only just got back at like 10 ish, so uh, it's been a bit. But how are you today? I hope you're well. Paper on the wall in the synth uh, synthesis shop. Synthesis shop? Where is the synthesis shop? Oh, I don't like these ones. These ones is redundant. I should have said these. I, apolo <laughs> I apologize to all the grammarians out there. The synthesis shop. Is that in the third district? Not bad? Oh, that's good. I'd rather you be not bad than bad. Oh man, I feel like I was, I was outside all day, and yet I felt I did nothing of value outside. I just like drove around and why are they killing me so easily? Um, and yeah. I just uh, transported a lot of stuff via the golf cart. Wow, I just got killed by those things. What the heck? Oh my god. That was bad. Paper on the synthesis workshop. Sam the clock on the wall. Gizmo shop roof. There's a postcard. What the heck? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I changed Donald, or changed Donald to do automatic defensive moves, I, I just have no idea what he's doing. He's just surprising me all the time. Like, I have arrow on right now. I'm just like, what? Okay, so I think I already got that on top of the awning. I'm gonna run back over here. Kitty. Oh yeah, hey, you can see there's Gwen making her appearance today. I wonder how she's going to be without my girlfriend here. Hopefully, all right. She's, uh, you know, she's loud anyway. Oh, here's a big one. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I can't even go there. But yeah, Gwen's making an appearance. We might get Cat later, I don't know. Cat's, cat's right here. She's look, looking a little surly today. So, Actually, it helps, too, that we're fighting these guys because I need to level up. I need to get to like sub 50 before the end of the game if I want to fight Sephiroth. I would like to, you know, do the whole game so I want to do all the optional bosses and all that stuff. If possible, if possible, we can do it. I believe in us. Whoop. technical point by blocking him he's confused he's going by tapping him on the butt please just go away please there you go technical I can't get around he's stuck to this wall there you go okay we got him I'm just gonna go to district 3 real quick try to figure out what's going on with this all this funny business with uh through here right I don't know Traverse Town is not my favorite part of the game if you can imagine. Um, it's nice enough, but it doesn't really do very many, uh, do anything for me. Let me have some tea real quick. Oh wow. Only using one hand. Running around. <laughs> Running around. Whoops. Did I just level up? <laughs> I wasn't even trying. The synthesis shop. Is this is this is not synthesis. This is just a house. Why can't I remember anything? And the synthesis shop is in um, District One, I think. The Tarzan World theme was stuck in my head. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you thinking about uh, Phil Collins? I know I was. A lot of drums. I mean, he's a drummer, so duh. But. Tons of drums in that soundtrack, like more than I remember listening to it again. Okay, these po these postcards are boring. They're thwarting me. I don't feel like getting them really. 
I'm sure like in the key hole. Top of the gizmo shop. See the secret entrance to the gizmo shop. It's a gizmo shop. You got accessory shop. The synthesis shop is upstairs. But what is a gizmo shop? Oh wait. No, this is Geppetto's shop. I don't know. Does he make gizmos? Who knows? You probably cosplay Tarzan. <laughs> Um, funny enough, when my girlfriend didn't know me, at school her and her friends called me Tarzan, because I also had my long hair then, so that was uh, a thing. Um, what was it? Uh, synthesis shop. Paper on the wall. Look at the paper on the wall. This paper? Um. Paper? I should be able to... This is the synthesis shop, is it not? I don't know. Look at this one. How do you meet your girlfriend? Well, actually, so we were at school. Um, I had seen her in passing. Oh, here it is. And, um... <coughs> pardon me. Um, you know, I didn't really know her. I didn't have any class with her or whatever. And she just messaged me on Facebook. And that was <laughs> that was pretty much it. It's not that exciting, except that led to our first date where we went to the movies. So we went, she took me to a, uh, a film festival, which was a good choice on her part, obviously. Because that's, like, you know, w what I like most, pretty much. And, um, you know, the movies and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. And we've been together almost, what, five years now? Almost five years. We have been together like four and a half. Uh, it would be five in October. So quite a bit, quite a bit. You know, it's uh, it's really nice. And she's actually currently away right now, so I miss her. She's in um, Boston with her uh, mom, celebrating with her friend. Oh, actually, celebrating with her friend, who's um, getting married. She's at a bachelorette party. She said in the Facebook DMs, yes. I mean, I don't even know if that was like a, that was even a thing back then to say. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's do this one. Oh man, we really have to, have to go to these, do these warp holes. This is my least favorite part of the game. It's not, you know, I don't dislike it, but it does very little for me. I wish I could speed up, you know? Okay, so let's get to these warp holes. So, I, cause like, the gummy part of the game doesn't really carry over to anything else, you know what I mean? Like, I'm collecting stuff, but for what purpose? Unless, I know there's like a few trophies, but I don't think there's any trophy for making your, your ship like incredibly powerful or anything. Okay, the warp, uh, should be coming up very soon, I think. Usually comes up fairly quickly, so. This looks really random. It is, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't really match to do a barrel roll. I got a bad feeling about this. It's quiet, too quiet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, sorry, I was just having flashbacks, 99. I, I love Star Fox 64 so much. It's one of my favorite games. I, I told it, I've said it before. It's a free, free idea. Go ahead, anyone. Why not make Star Fox as a movie, but make it in stop motion, like the new Wes Anderson movie, Isle of Dogs. <laughs> I mean, come on. Wouldn't that be amazing? And then, like, all I want to hear in a movie is, is Wolf say, I can't let you do that, Star Fox. Like, how awesome would that be? He killed his dad? Oh, I got Rick and Morty. Uh, this is Rick's head coming at me. Just racking up all the arrow G. But yeah, I love Star Fox so much. It was one of those things where I think it was ahead of its time in that it let you, you know, uh, had secret bosses or like alternate routes and you could play the whole game and not necessarily encounter something like someone else, uh, the game that someone else played, which is kind of fun, you know? And uh, also great cast characters, Falco, you know, all those people. Uh, Falco, Peppy, Slippy, and of course, Fox himself. I was never a fan of Slippy but I don't think anyone is, so. First time watching a gameplay of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Rick's head. It does look like Rick's head. You hear about there not being a fourth season? Yeah, I bet it'll get picked up. Um, 
that show is so popular. I bet I'll get picked up by like FX or something and get like five more seasons. It's just that <laughs> Dan Harmon, he's uh, famous for having, you know, his turnaround time is just very, not inconsistent, but like, you know, they take their time with Rick and Morty and it takes a while, it takes a while. So, you know, I don't have, uh, I think the show will definitely come back. It's so it's such a good show and so well done and very artful. Um, I think it'll be fine. It, you know, it was going to be its fourth season. The third one actually took like a year to, and a half to come out, so that's why people were talking about it. And um, I think it's April 1st joke. Mm. Could it be? I don't know. I see, I don't know why I had to do this whole thing and go all the way over here. There's some more tea, I'm so annoyed. I think it'd do well on FX like Archer. I agree, 99. Uh, I, I definitely think that seems like a more... Um, fitting place for it than Adult Swim, you know, Cartoon Network, and even though I like Adult Swim to a point, um, I mean, come on, doesn't that hold a candle to that Toonami stuff, right? I'm joking. Uh, I just loved Toonami so much when I was younger. Um, especially, you know, Dragon Ball Z, which I'm re-watching right now. Kai is amazing. Also just reminds me how, like, much I love Vegeta. Vegeta's amazing. But yeah, I would say it's gonna pick. I, I put money on it. That's gonna get picked. Ninety nine, you agree? It's gonna get picked up by FX. And if it, it doesn't get picked up by FX, I don't know, YouTube Bread or something. Crackle. <laughs> one of those, one of those channels, or Amazon or something. Did you see the new stuff from The Rock? Oh, the, uh, the new, uh, Under Armour release. I did. I did. I'm not sure I'll get anything from this one because the shoes are expensive even though I like them. I don't really buy shoes, but... <coughs> um, I don't know, I wanted more text, you know? Like, some of the stuff that he wears in his Instagram photos is, in his Instagram photos is kind of cool. Like, he has one that says Big Dogs Eat, I think. and Like, I like that. I, I would never say that, but, like, wearing that for working out, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can get into that. It, like, motivates me or whatever, so... But those shoes, I think I get like, I might get the yellow ones. I'm not, I'm not even a big yellow person, but uh, man, I, I do like those shoes. Oh, Rick's back. Yeah, what a, a bizarre part of this game. I guess they just want it to be longer, maybe. Like, I don't know if it comes back in Kingdom Hearts 2, so I guess we'll see when I play it, but. But yeah, it's, it's, look at that, it's just weird. We're almost to, I believe it's going to be Neverland, right? Otherwise, I labeled this video wrong if it's not Lever Neverland. We'll still try to get to Neverland tonight, but this is a long one. <laughs> it's odd because it's never, like, particularly challenging, but... Like, I do not know what I'm supposed to do with all these items. Is this, oh no, is this like a... Okay, I spoke too soon. Is, is this like a like a boss? What's going on? Oh no! Oh no! Well, I just failed. So, ah, oh, you freaking kidding me? Uh, <laughs> let me go to this gummy garage real quick. I guess I have to upgrade. Oh god. Okay, gummy ship. Change ships. Highland. Configure. Wait, no. Chain ships. Is it garage blueprints? Here we go. I just want a fast one. Carbuncle? Siren? Siren's fast. Shield? No. I want a shield. And none of these have shields? Shoot. Um, I want one with double speed. Carbuncle. Carbuncle looks good. Transform? No. Flyable. Insufficient parts? Well. Oh, this one. Siren? Oh, come on. I don't really know. <sighs> By a bit. That's so... In, the Peter, in Peter Pan? I know. I know. This wasn't in Peter Pan. This part... I, this would be a, an easy skip for me if I was watching Peter Pan. Should I just put a bunch of, like, Protect G on me? What the heck? Like, why can't I use it? 
Man, it's had enough shield. I don't know how to... Oh, here we go. Small can, dec a decorative wheel. Here, let's see. Slightly inc inc increases maneuverability. Sure. Put it there. Put it there. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to make this thing. I just, I just want. Uh huh. Oh no. This is yeah. See, this is not ideal, really. Here we go. Right? There's one. Oh no. I'm just winging it, guys. I'm winging it. It's not a good looking, not a good looking vehicle. Reduces damage from attack. Sure. I'm just adding stuff. Oh god, this could be really ugly. I apologize in advance. Okay. We're almost done. Almost done. We got this. No. Low power, super compact engine. Decorative wheel. Okay, I think we're good. They put a lot of thought into this part of the game. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but I just don't know why. Reduces damage. Okay, I've already done this. So, I think we're good. Oh god, that's so ugly. <laughs> yes, override the highland with this monstrosity. A customizer. I got a... <laughs> I got a... I got a trophy. Hooray. I just uh, look like a, a ship that ran into a lot of stuff. Um, I, this one is the one we want to go to. Yeah, I don't know why they put so much thought into this, honestly. Um, not that... I understand the appeal of it. You know, I like shooters like this. You know, obviously Star Fox we were just talking about. One of my favorite games of all time, but like... <sighs> like, as you can see, the part that I had a problem with, um, there is no problem otherwise. You know what I mean? Like, it's not necessarily challenging, but there's not like any sort of maneuverability stuff that I can do, really. Like, I can't do a barrel roll, unfortunately. Like Pepe would want me to do. I can't... You know, I can't, uh... Shoot missiles or lock on or anything. I don't even know what these things are. They look like decorative tiles. <laughs> so yeah, it's just weird. More than anything. And like this mini boss or whatever that I'm gonna... Run into again. <laughs> it's giving me some problems. I just want to do Disney stuff, you know? I think I have my air conditioner on. So, or not air conditioner, but like the... It's like just a... I was going to say wind machine. It's not that it's a fan. Wind machine. But I think <laughs> that's what was making me cough. I'm good now. I'm good. I'm fine. I think I actually have like a cough drop. Somewhere. Reminds me of some hotel lobbies at Disney World in Florida. Really? See, I've never been, so I, I have no frame of reference for that. Would you recommend it? Because I, I don't know. I like... I really like theme parks. I just don't like a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like, it's expensive, obviously, but... I feel like the theme park aesthetic, I like being... I like those rides. Not necessarily that are... Like, roller coasters are cool. I like the ones that are kind of like atmosphere rides where you... Like Pirates of the Caribbean, like you ride into like a story and you get to see all these like animatronics dancing and singing and stuff. Like I like that the most. Or like if you've ever been to Disneyland in California, the uh, the Pinocchio ride is wonderful. Or like um, I used to be really into Splash Mountain, even though it's kind of not from the best, <laughs> not coming from the best source. You know, I got kicked off of Splash Mountain once. Been there 20 times. Oh wait, one second, I need to concentrate. This is so, so ugly. I don't know what's happening. Okay, is that it? Literally, is that it? We live, we survived, but we did not survive last time. 
It was just those guys showing up and being like, eh. Okay. All that customization, that painstaking work for nothing. Oh, here we go. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Well, shoot. Should have gone to the other one first. Um, if you do go during the summer, it's going to be packed. If you're going at the end of the year, packed, packed, packed. So go there in like what, mid August or something? Or in Halloween Town. Oh, this is making me excited. Boys and girls of every age. This is amazing. I love it. Ooh, that was kind of like a, almost like a Super Mario 64. Oh, look at that. Look how cool we look. This is how I wish I dressed in high school. Okay, here's a save spot. So, we're going to save right here. We didn't trigger anything, so let's go back to the gummy ship. We didn't start, really. And let's go to this... Not Atlantica, my god. Never Atlantica again. They even have this in the game? Now I'm interested to play. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, they do have Nightmare Before Christmas, which I was going to do next... Uh, I mean, if I get to it tonight, yeah, maybe, but I was going to do it next stream, but... They do have that, and I believe... I believe uh, Hollow Bastion, one of the final levels I read about, it might be something from Sleeping Beauty. I'm not quite sure. I mean, I know Mal Maleficent is in the game. She's like the main villain besides Riku, so... Riku's kind of like a... <laughs> He's like an ancillary villain anyway. I really don't know what his deal is. I've been trying to find him and Kyrie the whole time, so... Don't be a jerk about it, man. reminds me of uh, Umbaku's throne room in Black Panther with all those really cool like parallel logs hanging from the ceiling god that was a good movie satisfying I felt so satisfied so yeah you don't really have to, even have to fight these dudes just avoid them do you guys have any suggestions for what to do uh, while I'm alone this weekend I like treat myself to a nice breakfast, a nice brunch. It's always nice, always fun. And brunch is always good though. Who doesn't like brunch? I have actually, I have a friend that um, said she doesn't like breakfast, and I was so thoroughly disgusted with that statement. <laughs> I was like, how dare you? Wakanda forever. Yes. Yes. So good. Oh. What? I just heard something. Oh, hey! Mom Bubbles is raiding me with four people. Wow, I've never been raided before. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Mom Bum uh, Bumbles. I hope the rest of your stream was good. We were just talking about uh, Black Panther and how awesome it was. I've never been raided before. I feel so I feel so cool. But yeah, Mom Bumbles is really, really neat. Uh, I really enjoyed watching your stream in the last couple days. I've just been at work, so I haven't been able to comment, but... I've been watching at work. I, I see that she's on. <laughs> and she's really cool and really nice and has a good stream, so thank you so much. It's been uh, fun getting to know you. Hopefully I'll continue. I'm happy to be part of the hive. Which reminds me, I need to figure out something to call like my community. I don't know what I would call it. People want to be called like the headhunters or something. You know, I like breakfast, just not in the morning, lol. I'm not sure what a raid is. A raid is when a uh, person is getting off stream and they send everyone that they're with to uh, another stream. How did I miss... How did I miss this? I wanted to go to Neverland and I missed it. Is that possible? I don't know. Can anyone help me out? Or do I need to go to uh, Hall Halloween Town first? I just want to see... I just want to see Peter Pan. I love... I love Peter Pan. Oh well. Maybe we can just go to Halloween Town. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. But, uh, hello everyone that's watching now. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. This is the stream. We've been playing Kingdom Hearts. This is my first time playing it. Um, hi friend. Sending you some love as well. Oh, thank you so much. 
Um, I appreciate the love, as always. And uh, I hope the rest of your stream went well. I just realized I'm not wearing my... Oh, man, I'm not wearing my uh, my necklace. That's weird. I'm always wearing my necklace. It's not... Uber Patapon. Oh, I see. Oh, you see what? <laughs> Uber Patapon. I hope you're doing well, by the way. What do you see? Oh, I'm so excited. I love... I love... Uh, Thought you already beat the game since it was old. The subscribe with one tier sub. Wow, thank you so much. So buff can't wipe. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mom Bumbles, for the 200 bits. Oh, sorry, I'm being attacked right now. Actually, they're not even attacking me. They're peaceful. They they know that we're having a good fun time. They don't even want to be mean to me. Wow, thank you so much. I'm feeling the love. Greetings from the hive. So buff can't wipe. Uh, thanks so much. How are you tonight? Uh, wow, this I'm not used to this many people watching. <laughs> it's it's nice for a change. So buff is a blessing. I mean, he he or she or they already have a really really good uh, Twitch name, so it made me laugh uh, right away. Sorry, my screen is far away, so I always have to like peer. <laughs> but so buff can't wipe is uh. I'm happy to have a blessing. I always want to have more blessings in my life, as people, you know? Skeleton. Oh. You know what is a blessing? Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that movie so much. It is the best. Get used to Mr. Famous. I wouldn't go that far so far. Or I wouldn't go that far so quickly. What I love about this game is you can tell it's fairly old now because... It has a, a movie with it, an enormous cast that is very well known, and so far we've seen two characters. So it's a pretty, pretty good uh, Jack Skellington. I always thought it was weird that Jack Skellington was uh, voiced by Chris Sarandon, but sung by Danny Elfman. Chris Sarandon is famously Prince Humperdinck from uh, Princess Bride. So Buff Cam Wipe is now falling. Thank you so much, So Buff. I'm looking forward to more, uh, being blessed with your presence more. Alright, so we talked to the mayor. And, yeah. Also, I, another reason that I can tell this game is old is, like, the levels are very small. Kind of get the gist of everything that's happening very quickly. Like, here is Jack's house, I believe. Let's get a scream, right? Marilyn Manson's cover of the song is pretty awesome. It is really good. And I'm not even like a Marilyn Manson, like, you know, Uber fan or anything like that, but he's good. I think, who did it Who did it later? Was it Panic at the Disco did one too? Or was it Fallout Boy? If we're going to get into this conversation, I have to admit that I was always a uh, more of a My Chemical Romance person, so. Not that I didn't, you know, I always appreciate the talent that certain people have, like Fallout Boy and, uh... Panic of the Disco, but I always felt like I just love the sort of atmosphere, atmospheric quality of My Chemical Romance, you know? The Black Parade, I mean, come on. Such a good album. It's really, really good. But what does it mean? Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. A heart with that device? I don't know. I'm more of a prog metal dude. Polyphia. Okay. I will check them out. Make them suffer? Make them suffer? That's pretty intense. Within the ruins. Scientists gave me the chills when I watched it as a kid. I, I do agree. He is Dr. Finkelstein is kind of creepy. Especially when he's like, you have to be patient. That's all. <laughs> Donald the mummy. You won't have to fight the heartless, right? I want to see a heartless dance too, don't you? Sora is, Sora is so pure. He's a good dude at heart, I think. So buff can I? I'll add those to my listen list. Um, I have never listened to prog metal, but something you know, a name like Make Them Suffer does sound pretty metal, so I'll have to check them out. What's this heartless doing here? Oh. Started me when I saw him pop his head. I mean, you don't really see many people like open their cranium and scratch their brain when they're thinking. I, I mean, I love stop motion. I, I'm so sad that it's not more of a 
Okay, doctor, let's it's not a more popular art form because I think it is so Emotion. so singular in the way it appears. You know, it's so artful, at, it's so nice, Hope and despair. progressive. Mixed I'm curious, what do you together? listen to when you work out? I work out. Oh, I listen to a lot of podcasts, but when I'm listening to music, I listen to like um alternative is mostly alternative. I mean, I guess some pop like you know, Borns. Borns is really good. We never listened to Borns. Um, he he's really uh, his new album is amazing. The song he has a song called uh, "Faded Heart," which I'd recommend you all listen to. And he also has another song called uh, "Bye Bye Darling," and another one with um. Lana Del Rey features. Let's try adding memory. So happy and filled with love. <laughs> oh, great. I'm glad about bubbles. I'm feeling that same way, too. Thank you so much for being here and helping out and getting everyone together. I'm already appreciating So Buff Can't Wipe. Sally. Gone again. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? This is a long cutscene. I was paying attention, but I wanted to talk to you guys, so definitely gonna keep Donald, and I think we're supposed to sub out Donald and Goofy. If I remember what I read correctly. You like ebooks. Today was such a wonderful stream, and I'm so happy to see your subscription button and bits. Me too. Thank you so much. And I'm glad you had a good stream. What was that game that you were playing again? I came home super late from work and I didn't get to see it. Was it like a question game? It looked pretty fun. Okay, thank you. Sally always running off. Oh, turn page. Okay, cool. And audiobooks. Audiobooks and ebooks. Okay, cool. Audiobooks and ebooks. Um, the guy who does. I think unfortunately he passed away, but the guy who did the uh, Game of Thrones books was a really, really good actor, you know, reader. Um, that's the thing that kind of makes it or breaks it for me for audiobooks is like if the actor is very, like characterful, you know, because I want them to feel different when they do different characters. Um, I do like audio, some audio dramas, like uh, Black Library, they do like Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 stuff, but they like fully produce their audiobooks, they have like ominous sounding music and all sorts of like, all sorts of like um, sound effects and stuff, voice modulation for like certain characters, it's really, really cool. Um, ah. I just love Warhammer, so I know that's a whole different thing. A lot of people don't know Warhammer. It's it's okay. It's a very like niche thing. But if you want to read some fun sci-fi or fantasy, Warhammer is the way to go. Plus, you if you, you can like make paint miniatures and stuff about it. That's what appealed to me as a teenager when I sort of discovered it. Am I supposed to go find Sally outside of the? Uh... I don't think I don't think this is a very small town. It's smaller than I remember in the movie. But I think I'm supposed to go out of the town. And I'm guessing we're gonna go, what, through the forest past, like, nearer to Oogie Boogie's place? Because we're not gonna go into the town hall. I just think it's funny that there's no... no sign of any... <laughs> any of the people from the rest of the movie. Um... We can't go there. Yeah. We can't go down here? No. Oh well. Yeah, let's go out the guillotine gate. I think we're gonna go to the countryside. Quiplash, and it's a head-to-head -head question game of who has the funniest answer. Oh, okay. Oh, I would probably be bad at that. I need to. I would need to work at that because I have a very like. I'm not like an overly literal person, but I feel like I have. A, I've said it before on the screen. I have like associative. I think at least I feel like I have associative issues in the sense that, like, like uh, certain types of puzzles or riddles are hard for me. Um, like uh, crosswords are I'm, I'm so bad at them, I'm terrible and then what else I mean, so yeah if I don't encounter any crosswords or riddles I'm usually good, but I'm kind of wondering where we need to go I know we have to find Sally, but this is some of the level design, I do love this game but some of the level design, I'm just like, what? what is happening? Especially because I haven't gone this... I've never played this far. I only played till Deep Jungle when I was 11, so... Can we not go in his house? I stream a variety of games. Mostly Final Fantasy, Choose Your Fate type, Until Dawn, Heavy Rain, Kingdom Hearts, etc. Republic. A really nice place for brunch. Ooh, okay. I'll have to try that. I love brunch. 
Mamba, Bumble, Mamba Bumbles, how do you feel about brunch? We were talking about brunch earlier, and I am a I'm a firm believer in brunch. I feel it's like the good a good start to every weekend. I mean, not every weekend. I don't have it every weekend, but I wish I could or would. Maybe I'll make that a point from now on. Okay, I am. I apologize. Just to, just for expediency's sake, I wanna. I, I really wanna look up where I'm supposed to go because I thought I was going to Neverland tonight, but apparently, um, I'm not there. I am in uh, Halloween Town, so just checking to make sure if I go the right place so you guys aren't bored. Okay. Small door. Farther around to the left. Bends up to a door leading to the graveyard. Okay. So, just want to make sure we're going the right way. Because. I know it's a bummer watching someone just run around in circles. I don't want you guys to be bored, so. Okie dokie, is this, this is the guillotine gate. There's a small stairwell, they said, around the corner from the professor's, the professor, the doctor's place. So, not here. Stairs? Oh, here's stairs. Graveyard? Oh, there we go. Okay, we found it. Jeez. <laughs> Can't eat breakfast, so I have brunch every day. Well, there you go. Perfect. That sounds like a perfect day every day. Let's check out this place. Okay. And then breakfast, 7 a.m. Second breakfast, 9. 11 is 11. Afternoon tea, dinner, supper. I don't think he knows about <laughs> second breakfast pip. That's what I would say to that. Um... Of course I know that reference. Lord of, the, Lord of the Rings is my favorite movie. Or my favorite series of movies. If I didn't get that reference, I would hope that you would call me out for uh, having lied to you saying Lord of the Rings is my favorite because that's a pretty, that's a pretty, so, you know, lo a lofty, uh, pretty softball I was trying to say. I can't talk. I did a lot of thinking today at work. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was pretty intense, so. Ah. Everything's going great. I got We're tea and a protein shake, so I haven't got a chance to work out the last three days, but I've been a little, you know, under the weather, so it's probably better. You mean this? Forget me not. Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. You should listen to Sally. Why don't you try something else? There's still time to set things right. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Oh, Jack. Hubris well, is his problem. Heart, Hubris and ambition. Trust me. It's just like the movie. You know, I've always been astounded that uh, I believe Nightmare Before Christmas is only 76 minutes long. It's very, very brief. But there's so much, uh, so much character in that 76 minutes. It's really, I don't know, there's there's really nothing like it. Like, they've tried, actually, have they tried? I guess Paranorman by Leica is probably the closest thing to it, but I don't know. There's just nothing that fits that aesthetic in the same way. Uh, obviously, why it's so popular, you know? Oh, God, lock, shock, and barrel. Did you hear that? Kidnap yeah, Mr. Sure Santa Claus. Oh, I want to do it. Let's do straws. My goodness, I'm so tired from today's stream and still recovering from a cold, but I'm so happy that I'm filled with energy. My mom is keeping me wide awake. Well, that's good. And it's good when, like, happiness powers anything. You know, any sort of feeling. Why is she so happy? Does there have to be a reason? It's nice to be happy. Okay, so, imagine we need to find the other staircase, right? So, there's Jack's house. Doctor's lab entryway. Go back up to the doctor's research lab. Yes, this is it. There's one more green. We need a surprise to complete the heart. The mayor should know where it is. Surprise? Hmm. Oh no. Oogie boogie. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
That bonehead Jack is really making this guy, a This guy is doing a good Oogie Boogie voice. That works for me. Maybe you're double dead. He has a great villain song. I, I must say, for being a character that just comes out of nowhere in this movie, he immediately makes an impression with his song. I need to watch Nightmare for Christmas. I'm probably going to do that <laughs> this weekend. This, this <laughs> game is making me want to. That was a strange cutscene, but I'm into it. I want more stop motion. I have you guys seen like Kubo or any of the Leica stuff? Kubo is beautiful. I, I was ridiculously impressed by how amazing the animation was in that movie. Like the fight scenes, uh, Charlie Theron's um, capuchin monkey. Was a monkey? It had like little tufts of fur that would move with her every movement. It was cr it was it was amazing. It was so cool. Um, and then the finale, and of course the um, Japanese aesthetic is always. You know, that sort of mythological folklore uh, influence I always really, really like. And I thought they did a really good job translating that into something unique and different and new. Okay. Where are these guys? Oh, it's like weird mummy things. Oh. A lot of technical points. But I need to get a new keychain. This does not fit my current current uh current get up. I still say Thundar is my favorite move, but I don't know. I need to cast you know what I need to cast is arrow because I'm not the best at this game. So arrow at least helped me not get uh, killed all the time. Okay. You get all those guys? Jeez. Just keep spawning. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even have to cast arrow on myself. I feel like it has made a difference since I have been, um, I changed Donald to cast defensive spells fairly aggressively. I feel like it's been very helpful as a person who's still learning the particulars of the combat, you know. I'll probably have to play it again just to get the trophies, because I know there's a trophy for beating it without changing your equipment, so I'll probably do that one. And there's also a trophy for... So above Kimai Ball, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. I'm happy that you're here now. Hopefully, uh, we can get to know each other. I mean, you already gave me a list of music to listen to, so I'm happy about that. I love music. Okay, to the graveyard. Go back to the graveyard. Well, there's our problem. Um. Oh, wow. I was sick over the last few days and had no energy. That's what Mama Bumble said. Pains are through your back and stomach. Oh, no. Have fun and be chill with friends, and it's such a fun stream. Well, it's, it's amazing how therapeutic, uh, cool, you know, just being with your friends can be. Like, I remember, you know, there have been so many times in, like, high school or when I was younger where I was like, I don't know, I don't feel like hanging out. Or maybe, maybe I'll do it, like, next week or whatever. Or in college, you know, you don't feel like going out, and I wasn't a big partier anyway. But then you do, and it ends up being a great time, so, you know, it's important, I think. Like, I'm a, I think I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert, but I do think there's value in, like, hanging out with people and talking to people and getting that sort of interaction. I think that's really cool, so it always makes me feel better. I, I'd much rather be doing this here with you guys than doing anything else right now. Um, I was looking forward to it all day, seriously. I've been, I've been so excited just for the stream in general because work's been so hard, but also just for, uh, you know because we hit affiliate, I was really happy about that. Like, I felt like it was an actual milestone, so that was really fun. So I've been thinking hard about it. And also, I've been working on, in Photoshop, I've been working on the panels um, for my for my page, my channel, or whatever. So the panels are going to be updated very soon, and they're going to look a lot better. So that's something to look forward to. I need to do them quickly before I run out of my seven-day free trial of Photoshop. So many nice people and new friends. Freaking so buff, being kind with donations. I'm filled with love and I'm overwhelmed. Well, this game is awesome. Oh, I'm glad you think so, so buff. And at this house, we love and support so buff. I, I can get behind that. I was hoping to find a stream of this. Well, here you go. And I'm going to be playing through all this. And Mom Bumbles, I forgot to tell you. Um, I've never played Final Fantasy either. So that's going to be a, another series that I'm going to start working through. Because, you know, I like Overwatch and these 
multiplayer games, but the single player RPG stuff is kind of like my my favorite thing. So I'm happy that you're here now. I'm happy that you're here now. Were you not happy before Sobov was here? I was, I was, you know, I'm joking. I was happy before, but uh, flexes muscles. Yeah, he's intimidated. Oh. I haven't been to the gym in a couple days. I feel like I'm gonna lose all my uh, progress. Check the tombstones. Oh, that was a very that was a very direct. Oh wait, okay. I need to do this what in the order they come out, right? Check the tombstones in the. Well, they just tell me what's gonna happen. One, that one outside. That one. This one. This one. This one. I do it? <laughs> usually it's a little bit more uh, difficult than this. Usually it's a little less straightforward. They give you more hints and stuff. He's just like, eh, just, just look for that bumpkin. Look for the ghost in the order in which they came out. Yeah, you're good. Well, that was a surprise, huh? Was it? <laughs> I wish they'd just play the whole song. I'm hearing this like weird remix of, who are these guys? I do not understand them. They, I can't ever, I can't damage them, they just always disappear. But play uh, Final Fantasy X and I will cry. Well, it's gonna happen. Um, because I, I like the aesthetic of Final Fantasy. It's something I've always been interested in, which never really engaged with. You know, as with a lot of like um, Japanese RPGs, for whatever reason, I think is that I had I almost had to fight the influence of my friends in high school and when I was younger because everyone, you know, kind of contrary to my personality, but everyone was like super into like Call of Duty and um, like Halo and those games are you know they're great in their own right for you know if you're like FPSs and stuff. But I don't know, I was always more into like in high school. I remember playing like Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. I don't know. I like fantasy a lot. I like questing. I played a ton of World of Warcraft, even though that's another game I never hit level cap or any of that stuff, so... I've been thinking about going back, we'll see. But that's like a giant time suck, so... I still want to do a variety stream. Can't just play WoW all the time. Though I must say, um, doing a stream does make me feel like I'm actually doing something, obviously, rather than just playing alone, you know? That's why, that's great that you're here. Sorry, my hair was my hair was getting away from me. He's not going to play it anymore. He doesn't want to make you cry. He's too nice. <laughs> Halo has one of the best lore. I would say um, Halo has very strong lore. I do agree. Like Reach is really cool. That whole story I thought was really well done. Okay, Doctor Finkelstein. Let's get this. Let's get let's get on with this. Yes, this is it. Is that gonna fit inside a heartless? This time it's sure to work. Oh no. Not down a pipe, hopefully. I think, um I mean the movie's very short, as I said. I was always tantalized by the possibility of the other worlds, and I was always sad that like we only got to see the Easter bunny. And they go to Christmas town, but I was always Interesting. Like, what would Thanksgiving Town be like? Very weird. Um, but I think what was it? Thanksgiving. And they have a giant egg for Easter. I'm trying to think about the other doors that appear in that circle. Like in a place that you've only seen in your dreams. The story you are about to be told took place in the holiday world of old. If you're wondering where our holidays come from. It's time you begun. After them quick. Sorry, I just blacked out for a sec. What did I say? <laughs> I actually think that... I mean, I like singing a lot. I sing all the time. That's why I'm sad when I'm sick. But uh, I actually think that... I, If I had to do a musical, it would be very short, obviously, but a musical uh, rendition of the Night Before Christmas, I feel like I can nail it. I'm not trying to brag, but I, I sing... I sing Night Before Christmas like a weird amount for the time that uh, Halloween is a thing every year. If anything, I wish we could almost like get rid of September and just make it like October 1. And have like a real October be October 2 because 
I don't know. Just it just makes me sad that we only have 30 days lead of, of lead up to Halloween. Halloween's my favorite holiday, so you know, that's what I really want to do. Okay, I just want to make sure. Go to the boneyard via the graveyard. See, this is that stuff that I said, the associative stuff, that puzzle solving stuff, that I would have never fi figured out as a child. Like, how would that have happened? I don't understand. Probably have been sp uh, spending hours just walking around in circles trying to figure out what to do. I do think it's weird that I don't necessarily like um, kidnap the Santa Claus, but at the same time, like, it's so ingrained in my brain from, uh, watching the movie so much that I, I don't know, do I like it? It's definitely the most, like, the least necessary of the songs, I'd say, because it's not by, like, a main character, it doesn't really do anything to advance the plot or any of that stuff, but it is fun. I don't know why I just started pushing a square to, uh, hit. I thought I was playing Dark Souls for a sec. Dark Souls is one of my favorite game series, actually. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's so much fun. I want to try to speedrun it on here, actually, when the um, Enhanced Edition comes out. I love the first game. I played 2 as well, um, quite a bit. came out like right when I was graduating from college, so that was a thing. And then... What, uh, I have 3, but I haven't finished 3. I don't know why. I need to just sit down and do it. Um, there's just like not enough time in the day because I also want to write and do all this other stuff. I need to keep up with my writing. I feel like I haven't written enough in the last, you know, year, but I'll get there. Spent my first Halloween Universal Studios. Not something I'll ever forget. I can imagine. Uh, that sounds terrifying. I'm not that I'm like a scaredy cat or anything, but I totally am not about having people like run up to me and try to be scary or follow me or any of that stuff. Like, I'll go on a haunted hayride and that's like... I love scary movies though. Like a good scary movie. Not necessarily like horror though. Like it's... I don't know. I feel like some movies are unsettling and those are the movies I like the most. Like have you seen The Witch? The Witch is a horror movie that I'll watch like over and over and over because it's just so well done and it's so atmospheric and there's so much tension and... I don't know, that's the sort of thing that scares me more so than, like, or it's the thing that I like more than, you know, this weird torture stuff or, um, or something that's more... Bomb? Bomb pumpkins? What? Um, something I like more than, I don't know. Like, I would much rather watch that than, or watch something like The Witch than... I don't know, hostile or something like that. It's a lantern. Try lighting it. Sorry. Why did I say lighting? Try light lighting it. Um. Oh wait, no. Sorry. A lock on magic. Fira. Yeah. We got it. A quiet place looks really interesting. Will be moved. No dialogue. It's supposed to be uh, incredible. I love John Krasinski, obviously, because Jim and Pam forever. Um. But. Oh. Okay. It's a weird switch, I guess. Um, I don't know why we did that, but... but these guys, I can't hit from the front, is that it? Oh, I probably have more AP that I haven't spent. That's the thing I keep forgetting about this game. Like you can do a fair amount of customization that I just don't take advantage of. What am I doing? being foolish. But uh, A Quiet Place is supposed to be really, really good. It has like 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that Rotten Tomatoes is the end all be all of whether or not something's a good movie, but um, I have to do Fira every time. Fire! Um, but I think the conceit of it is brilliant. This idea that you have a movie that's largely silent and you can just, as a cinematic device, it's really clever to have a movie that's completely centered around that silence and you can build so much tension by just having the characters interact and you have so much focus on sound design that you know you can get these character moments through you know just quiet character interactions rather than a bunch of dialogue which is nice I always 
I always like subtlety like that in movies, especially with character. You know, I think that's fun. Not necessarily fun, but what I prefer over like declarative character stuff. That's very much like once I once saw a TV show that had so much exposition in the first like ten. It was like ten minutes that I was like, oh my god, like what? What is the rest of this show gonna be? Because they're at like a a parade, and this um, the father came over to this son who was in the they're both police officers the son was just graduating from some sort of um i don't know if it's an academy or something like that but he shook his dad's hand and his dad was like if only your brother were here to see this it's too bad that he was murdered by his partner who betrayed him and all this stuff and i was like oh my god like why would they be talking about this right now you know so you could really tell when exposition is clumsy you know and uh, they're just trying to get as much information into the audience as possible but you know, you need that in some stuff, especially if it's like heavy world building stuff, but... Oh, I didn't realize this was a good fall. Um, like, for example, a movie that I would say is a ton of exposition but works is Inception. Inception is like almost all exposition, but it's just so fascinating that you don't really mind it, you know? In, in a clumsier, uh, poorer movie, I would say you would mind it, but it's... Uh, it's my guy, Christopher Nolan, so you don't have to worry about that, right? Dang, I want a snack, but the snacks are all the way upstairs. Oh no. Well, well, well I think we need to do some sort of cost-benefit uh, cost analysis. Like, what kind of snacks do you have? Because I feel like some snacks are definitely worth the trip, properly. Like, are you an ice cream person? Or are you a cookie person? Or... Depends. I always feel like I always feel like you should treat yourself. But I can understand how relaxing is sometimes like treating yourself. So I can really go either way. Which depends on what you want to do. How you feel? Feel good? Then maybe just think about the benefit of having a snack and be like, oh, it'll only take me like two seconds to get it. But if you want to relax, that's cool too. So either way. I was thinking of a more healthy snack like nuts or maybe some crackers and some cheese. That sounds good. What kind of cheese? I've always been kind of... I'm not a, like a cheese connoisseur or anything. I do like Swiss the best, I would say. But other than that, I don't know. Because anyway, a lot of times people say like... Cheddar. I'm not really into cheddar. Like American's okay to me. Provolone and like Swiss and mozzarella are probably like the whiter, lighter cheeses or something that I would gravitate toward more, I think. But crackers, crackers are great. Good cracker, oh, always fun. Yeah, like a saltine. And I think like the dryness of a saltine is definitely counterbalanced by the um, like moist squishiness of cheese. And then if you get some of those like no, I don't want to say artisan crackers, but you know the kind of the, the kinds that you get on like a sample platter. Ooh, those are so much fun and so good with a good cheese. This is a good conversation. I like this conversation. <laughs> You're making me hungry. We're just talking about cheese and crackers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get to this chest, guys. I apologize for being a bit clumsy. There we go. That was one thing, I must say, I don't know if any of you played Zelda Breath of the Wild. I love that game dearly, but I was super bummed and a little disappointed that they didn't ever do the, like, any of the regular theme music. Like the na 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 They didn't do any of that. And I was, you know, a lot of the music is, like, remixed in that game, but I was just really sad that we didn't get any of the stuff that... I just wanted them to do it once. Like, the only thing that's kind of similar is the fairy well music, and everything else is different. Oh, what was this? I didn't even look. Oh, man. Oh, man. How did we end up here? That's a bummer. I did not mean to go through there. Okay, I apologize. I'm gonna run back. Don't pay attention. Just keep talking about yourself. Go for the crackers and cheese. I, I say go for it. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh no! Cheddar. 
<laughs> Cheddar's a good choice. It's <laughs> pardon me. Cheddar's a good choice because it's it's a classic choice. I would say cheddar probably goes with the most food, you know. I would I would say like a mild cheddar is probably my favorite. People like that like harsh, like sharp cheddar stuff. That's a, that's a bit much for me. I feel like that makes me feel a bit. I don't know. Cause cheese, like you know, it's like a smelly cheese. I don't really. I don't, I don't, really, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't think anything you eat should smell like a foot, probably. Right? Is that a safe is that a safe thing to say? A safe judgment? I think so. That's not too unreasonable. Okay. I don't know what is happening with this guy. I don't know how to get rid of them. I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna fight Oogie Boogie. Please, sir, go away. I don't wanna hurt you. Yeah, I don't know what to do with these guys. Is it... are they, like, uh, only certain types of spells kill them? I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm like... I would say, uh, that's what I love most... It's kind of a tangent, but what I love most about Captain America when he says, uh... I don't want to hurt anyone, I just don't like bullies. And how could he not love that man? Oh, Captain America's the best. I'm gonna be sad when Chris Evans stops being Captain America, but it's bound to come, you know. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. Oogie Boogie. The final fight that Jack has with Oogie Boogie. It's one of those sequences in the movie that just hurts my hurts my brain to look at. Because I know that they spent so much time animating it, you know. The heart I feel like the Heartless in this one are weirdly um I don't know, they just sort of show up but they don't really do very much, right? They're sort of around. But don't seem as obstructive as they do in some of the other episode or episodes levels. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I try to eat. Um, I try not to have too much dairy. Uh, I don't really have. I mean, this job that I've had has been really difficult because. The days are like really long. It's like 12 hour days, and you know, they uh, they don't have any like food food. It's all like weird snack food. Oh no, I missed. Um, because they don't you know you can't cook anything there because it's not it's just there's only a microwave and stuff. So I have a lot of like turkey sandwiches, which I'm not super pleased about because I know deli meat is not the best because of the the glycerides and all that stuff. So. Not my favorite, but um, the job is only, you know, there's only like three, two and a half more weeks to it, really. Um, I think I wrap on the 11th, so after that I'm going to be streaming a lot. If you guys if you guys like the stream, stick around because I'll be unemployed again. Um, but hopefully the uh, things that I'm, the shows that I'm working on get picked up and I'll get to do a whole season of stuff. That'd be fun, right? Want, uh, you want the stream to continue? I mean, it'll always continue. I'm not gonna stop it, but it helps to have money. Money buys things like food and shelter, um, which is nice. Uh, you know, I, I like food. Um, it's one of my favorite things. You need to live, so that's important. But uh, yeah. Oh, wow, we warped. Some of the level design on this is just baffling. Um. Okie dokie. Hmm. That's interesting. Weird. Okay. I'm still trying to work this out. Apologies for the difficulties. Maybe I have to jump down and go through. The bottom way? Let me just check real quick. Thunder. No, no, no. 
Don't wanna... Oh wait, yeah, definitely down there. Okay. Let's do it. No fall damage. We're good. Roll, roll. Oh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel are down here. Apparently there's a very dark backstory to a lot of the uh, characters in Nightmare that I didn't know about. Like, Lock, Shock, and Barrel all died in very specific ways. At least it's in this fan theory thing that I read, but it was a fan theory. I don't think that, um... Every, I don't think Halloween Town is some, like, weird purgatory. You know, they're saying that they all died in specific ways. You know, insisting then that this is somehow some sort of afterlife. Which, I mean, if if my afterlife was I get to spend all my time planning and executing Halloween, I don't think that's a bad life to live. God, I love Halloween. I was so bummed last year because we didn't really... You know, like, it's not a national holiday for whatever reason. No, ridiculous. Um, and we didn't do anything for it. We didn't get a chance to dress up or any of that stuff. And I was just so bummed because I love... I love getting into costumes and I know, just putting stuff on my face. And it's like my favorite thing. I think that's why I want to do like acting as well because I don't know, just like doing that transformation is always been nice about it, you know. It's fun. It's fun to dress up and do that stuff. Like how? That's why I always thought I was like, oh, I want to be a director and a writer and stuff. But then I was thinking like, could I really do all that without wanting to like ride horses with? You know, use swords and all this stuff. Ah, oh, so much backtracking. So many of these things lead right back to where we've been before. How am I supposed to know? At least this is not a far one. I just... I want to get to Oogie Boogie, you know? Alright, so... Up down. Go this way, then. It's so weird, that's the only trinity that I've seen. Oh, we can't go this way? The heck? Let me check real quick. Run all the way up on the spiraling platform. Apparently I'm just being dumb again. There's a way... Oh, hey, I didn't notice this thing... Get in? Oh, here we go. Well, that's convenient. But yeah, I was being I was being foolish. You're supposed to just come in here, which I didn't even think about, and uh, light it on fire. So sorry again for if that was obvious to those watching. Oh boy, oh boy, it's been a long day. I feel like I, I, I since this new job started, I've lost like 10 pounds. It's crazy. Like what? What was I doing before? Too much. Too much, everyone. I'm trying to eat more and stuff, but it's hard. Just forget, you know. Uh, I want to restore HP and MP. We have a cottage. We have a ton of cottages. We have ten cottages, so... And while we're here, um, like I said, I forget that I have these all the time. So let's just look at... We have a Proterra chain. Raises defense. Fire damage raises max AP and defense. Oh, candy. Candy, candy, candy. Yes! Haha! -ha. She thought she would just rub up against my leg without making an appearance. It's cat! Oh my gosh! This is what you guys tune in for. She's the best. I know this is, you know, it's a cat only, cat's only podcast, or podcast stream. But this is my friend cat. Huh. Oh. I hope you don't mind this pause in our gameplay and stuff, but Ken and I need to spend some quality time together every every night, you know. She's not the best at being held, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll put you down, I'll put you down. Love you, cat. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, before we got the other cat, she never used to make noise, and now she's always like, meow, meow. I'll do this one, a Fritz horn, we raise our AP. Fire ring, raise the defense, or fear ring. Protect, and let's change it to Proterra. Donald. 
I gave, what is, oh, I, I don't know why I gave Jack stuff. What is he doing for me? Change this Proterra Inferno Band. Inferno Band sounds like a, a band of some sort. Like a real band, you know? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Second Wind. Fully recovers from KO status quickly. A full HP restored. Berserk. Hmm. Treasure Magnet. I really don't need Treasure Magnet, so I'll remove that and do Second Wind. Because, like, Donald coming back to life quicker is really important because Donald dies literally all the time. So, cheer. That's what you guys done tonight. Uh, God. What you guys have done tonight. Did I say that right? Ugh. <laughs> it's late. Um, but yeah, that's what you've done tonight. And I thank you. Uh, I thank you for doing that. It's so weird being an affiliate and getting cheers and bits and all this stuff. It's so neat. I'm enjoying it. Uh, very much, so. Definitely, let's just do, keep doing second win, because I, I need, I, I need to get better at the game, but giving them more time and attacks per battle. Oh my gosh, of course. Jack, he's already good. Sora, we got four more. Tech boost. Strike raid, leaf bracer, stops enemies from breaking cure ability. That's five. I'm definitely going to get rid of something for that. Flash and then we'll... Okay, Lucky Strike. I don't care about Lucky Strike. Leaf Bracer. This is big. This is big, everyone. Hurl the Keyblade. Jeez. I'm going to do Leaf Bracer because not being able to inter do an interrupt on Cure? That's crazy. Wait, sorry. Sure, one more. Mermaid Kick I don't need. I think we're good now. Okay, apologies for that weird aside, but I just wanted to make sure that I always forget that you can't access that in this game while you're in the middle of a fight, so you're kind of locked in if you do that. So I'd much rather prefer not to have to do that, during, you know, not to have to do a fight over after dying, so. Um, did I just go over here? Oh, okay, well, I can't move. Oh, I'm locked on that, so I was like, why can't I move the, why can't I move the camera? Look how emo and awesome Sora is. Ugh, look at those little fangs. If anything, Sora looks more normal now. He doesn't have his usual freaky eyes. Come on. Yep. Here we go. But yeah, seeing um, someone... I, I saw the game's done quick speedrun of this, and it was really, really cool. I think it's definitely doable. I just take me a little bit to memorize the uh, the order in which to do different events to trigger you know, cutscenes, etc. But it'd be fun, I think, to learn. I wouldn't mind playing this game over and over, especially like getting good at a game to be nice, considering the difficulties I've had. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we haven't fall we didn't fall down that far. It's okay. It bums me out because they're about to go into Sally's song every time they start this accordion thing, but they don't do it. It's also one of my favorite songs, so. It's weird how invested you are in Jack and Sally's relationship, considering they only share like two scenes together, but for some reason you root for them, you know? I don't know why. Maybe it's because the movie is just so weirdly uniquely charming, you know. I always thought it was in an interesting choice to portray Santa as kind of like a curmudgeon. Um, I liked it. And I always thought it was weird as a child. And I, I asked my mom, like, why is Santa so mean? She's like, well, you know, he's in a very difficult position. And I was like, you know, he does have to deliver presents to children all night. That is very difficult. Makes sense that he's uh, very put out. My mom was like, oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I like the portrayal of Santa. I was always very concerned, though, with the stuff sticking out of his beard, because I don't like messy eating, or messy anything, really. And him having, like, candy and, like, that lollipop that he has stuck in his beard grossed me out so much. I was not into that at all. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Okay, it's so lock, shock, and barrel. So is this, this is like a mini boss fight, I imagine, right? Uh, 
parry for barrel here. Wait, this is lock actually, isn't it? No, shock. Sorry. I don't know which ones are which guys. I do, I think. I'm trying to remember the order in which they say their names. Lock. Shock. Barrel. That's it. Shock is the buzz cut one. And this is Barrel, I believe? Sorry. Who knows, we'll get there. Sorry, I just had to beat up these kids. <laughs> yep, see? Very cool, very cool. Oh, see, this has been a weird... I think this is a very odd level, because there's not very much, like... Not very many save points, not very many trinities, um... Like, I like it, but it's, it's very... it's very weird. And I thought we were gonna play Neverland before, so... Uh, I'm still enjoying it. It's just... odd. Do I get to talk to you guys now? Following Oogie... Oogie's orders? Well, that doesn't... That doesn't exonerate you. You shouldn't just do things that people tell you to do. Think for yourself. There we go. Go through here now, or no, I go outside. Okay, so, oh, more Heartless. They just show up at the... Check to make sure that I have done the right thing. That was a really easy fight. Oh, this is a big green door. Okay, I thought it would be. I just wanted to make sure I was going the right way. Let's just jump off. Why not? I believe it's the one down here, right? With Oogie's face. Um. It's down there. Okay. So it's down there on the left, rather. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll fight Oogie, I think, right? Here we go. Last chance, Bone Daddy. I always was really disturbed when he's like saying, My bugs! My bugs! My bugs! Also, they have that weird live-action shot that oh, the bugs falling into the vat. Um, which is very clear when you're doing stop-motion at 24 frames per second and then you switch over to live footage. Because it's obviously not in 24 frames per second. Or not having, and not happening as individual frames, but just a natural motion. I still think it's pretty brilliant that they did the blacklight thing. That was pretty cool. I can't even imagine the logistics of that. I would love, I love behind the scenes documentaries and stuff, and I would love to see. They have one on the Blu-ray Nightmare, but it's never, it's never enough. You'd always wanna, I could watch hours of people just animating stop motion. I'd be so psyched about that. Okie dokie, so, so we're gonna try not to die. I can't see anything. I don't know why the, do we have to, okay, so here's, Heartless. Let's just try to fight him, maybe. Here's Oogie. Oh no, we're stuck here. But I go in the black or, or sorry, the red or the green. Ooh, oh, ouch. I just need to figure out what it is. Four and seven. Oh no. It's kind of neat that they incorporate all the things that he tries to get Jack with in the movie. I love the part when Jack dances on the, uh... He dances on... Oh, here we go. Okay, so you have to go to the... Oh, and it comes up and you jump up. Went on the wrong one. Oh, darn. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I think I do at least. Let me just cure on Donald. 
So we're trying to get the opportunity to hit Ogi. And so when the button goes off, the button glows, we need to jump on it. And then it will lift us up to the platform, and then that's how we'll hit Ogi. No? Right? Is that not how we'll hit Ogi? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Do that one. It's gonna come down. Oh no. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm just gonna read it real quick because I'm kind of confused. Looking will occasionally toss down exploding dice. When the buttons in the middle glow, step on one near Oogie. That second one being closed by a fence and rise up. Where the party can jump across to Oogie's level and attack him directly. That's what I was doing. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll do it. We'll do that. We want, I want to do it before I finish tonight, so... It's been such a great stream. Thank you so much again, Mama Bumbles, for the host and for being so gracious that your support. And, um, so buff, can't wipe. Glad to have you here. 99, as always. A pleasure. Um, and Crazy Clicks, of course. I've had a fun stream. I've enjoyed so much talking to, like, multiple people. It's so nice to have, like, multiple people on the stream. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm into it, you know, so... I feel like we're finally starting to have that, like, community that I've always wanted. Or imagined for the stream. And, you know, we... I worked really hard to get to this point, so... Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, so... I need to do it where Oogie is, so I can go up to where he is and fight him. Okay, so we just have to wait for the appropriate moment. Where is Oogie? It's hard to keep track of him, though. Oh man, my hair's been crazy this week because of, uh, or this. We have a ton of rain in California right now, so it's really, really, um, I don't know, everyone's very either very frizzy or very big. I know that's kind of just a long hair complaint, but man, Harry, Harry gets frizzy. What am I doing? I'm so stupid. <laughs> I just keep going there, hitting the wrong one. I don't know why. Back. There you go. We can do it, Jack. Just. Okay, we got this. We got this. I'm gonna go over when they light up and go fight him. It's gonna be fine. This is like the the speed of this boss fight is like heinously slow. Okay, we are gonna get this, Oogie. Okay, I, I can feel it. <laughs> Come on. Light it up, light it up. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Oh you got you got it now, Oogie. Okay. care myself. I'm actually gonna do, um, I don't have any elixirs. That's dumb. I should I should have done that. This will be an easy fight now that I'm, uh, not being dense. Oh, well, I just dove into a blade, so don't speak too quickly, right? Okay. What time is it? 12.07. Probably go to, like, 12.30 if I can defeat Halloween Town by then. I've enjoyed it just because, you know, you know me, I, I love, I love Night Before Christmas, but it's still been a lot of fun. Um, okay. Cure. Jack. It's weird how this isn't necessarily a hard boss fight, it's just kinda... Not tedious, but you have to be patient. And, um... You know, you have to keep an eye on Ogi, obviously. But it's not like his bombs are particularly nasty, you know? His dice. Where is he? Where are you, Ogie? There we go. Oh, I got you. I got you, you burlap piece of garbage. Okay, okay. Look at that. 
Easy peasy. We'll get there. Cure. Mm, Mr. Jack. He deserves it. Jack's been very, uh. Very adaptable this round, so. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. My gosh. Is it faster this time? Thinking about playing it, when I do my speed run, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on in proud mode or not. I feel like I'll have to because you know, I, the world record's in proud mode. I don't know if I'm going for the world record, but um, I would like to, you know, I don't know, I would like it to count for something if I get well, right? I mean, I think I'll, by the end of this game, I'll be good enough to be like, okay, I understand the mechanics of the game. I can't afford to die in a speed run, but at least having learned. I will know how to play. Also, I've learned that any percent, any percent speedrun does not involve Atlantica, so we do not have to worry about Giant Ursula, which I'm super excited about because she wasn't like necessarily hard, just time-consuming. I think it was like a 30-minute boss fight for me, so that was a lot, you know. But uh, so fun. Except that her her weird wonky eyes that scared me a bit. I did not know how to feel about that. Oh, he's healing. Oogie. There we go. Not cool, man. Come on, guys, let's get after him. Okay, well, one more and we'll get him. And then I believe I believe it's a multi-part multi-part boss, but. Who knows, right? Don't oh, watch out for those guys. I'm really sad. Um, it's an LA specific problem, but Meltdown Comics is closing. And it's like my favorite comic shop. And um, actually, no, Secret Headquarters is probably my favorite, but still. It's like a landmark in Los Angeles, and it's been really cool. And, and Kumail Nanjiani and uh, Jonah Rodriguez, Jen Ray, I got started there. And oh, where is he? Oh, I got, oh wait, I got you. Oh no, I almost had him. I, I flubbed it. I'm sorry. Apologies to anyone watching. We're almost there. The camera is very difficult here for whatever reason. Because if you don't have him locked on, he, it like looks down for whatever reason. Uh, oh. Close. Close. Yeah, I don't know what kind of person would not have the uh, the combat role because it's so useful, especially for someone like me who's always getting hit. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we got Oogie. My bug, my bug. Oh, ooh. Just sort of melted. All these Ansem's reports. Very cool. Oh boy. You know when you have like work early in the morning? And you start thinking how you're going to have to wake up like however many hours from when you're awake now you know like uh, I was just thinking like oh, I have to be up in like 6 hours it's a bummer but uh Friday night stay up as late as I want you know Ninety nine, you know how it is you know how that feels I don't know why I said you know how it is. You know how that feels. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Brimming with the power of darkness. His armpit, apparently. This game is so funny how straightforward it is. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. I just ran away. How embarrassing. Ogie's Manor. Go back, guys.
Okie dokie, so. Yeah, this is the manor, right? That climb up. Not get hit. This is weird, right? They have like a strange amount of HP, don't they, for being globules of uh, darkness, right? I could do the uh, airborne combo. Get it down a little. Did I get it? No. How do I get tech points for that? I don't know. That's not to ask, right? This is a weird part of this game. Okay, three. Fall, don't fall. Oof. Oh no. I fell. Oh. At least it didn't knock me all the way down. Or did it? I don't know. At least it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. down there actually that I had missed. I guess I should cast arrow on myself more than maybe even cure day of my potions and stuff. Okay, one more down. I believe that's four. We only have ten. Or sorry, got six. Right? Six I believe. Gonna keep making our way up. I don't know why this Oogie house is a very <laughs> weird part of this game, but I'm kind of into it. Anthropomorphic houses are always fun. Do you guys remember that movie Monster House? Remember how like crazy and dark that was for a kids' film, where like the house would literally eat children? I don't know. I, I feel like we should have more movies that are. Not that children need to see, like, dark stuff all the time. Oh, come on. <laughs> I missed the jump. But, um, I don't know. Like, it's okay to have a little teeth to your movie. Like, you guys remember The Black Cauldron? That was one of my favorite Disney movies. It was in their weird, dark 80s period, and uh, Black Cauldron's amazing. Or even something earlier, which I thought was dark, but people don't really give it enough credit, is, like, Sword in the Stone. It's another kind of weird one in some respects. Yeah, map paintings and that always scared me for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why. It was just too young. Okay. Andara. Got it. And then I believe there's one more. I need to get Shadow of the Colossus is what I need to get. I think this is it. Um, because I love that game. And I really wanted to play the update. I feel like it would have been a, a fun time, so. Ooh, max at MP, second chance. Slow mo. Okay, I think we're gonna seal the keyhole now, so. We did it out of order, but hey. As long as it works, right? I like the gummy part. What a bizarre portion of this game. I do not know where it came from. The remake looks good. Yeah, it does look good, right? They remastered it in like 4K. Every time I see it being played on stream, I'm amazed at how well it's translated. And the animation I always thought was beautiful, but it looks even better with all the new graphics. It's really, really cool. I believe we get a new keychain. And I saw we learned second chance. I'm definitely going to equip second chance for everyone. Um, power of the stars. Gravity has been to Gravira. Very nice. Oh, that's 
Pardon me if you heard that in my neck. So. Why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad. My dearest friend, we'll if you don't mind. For Halloween. I like to join you Next by your side. We'll do it together. I love that ending when they're dancing in the snow and then they walk up. Or he walks up to her slowly. On the weird curl finger. <laughs> Pumpkin head, yes. Ocean memory, put in all the necessary ingredients. What is a heart, anyway? It got very existential in that last part. What is a heart, anyway? He still wants to put a heart in the heart list? What the heck? Did he learn nothing? Jack? Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick is, so since we finished the, uh, we closed the keyhole, I'm going to switch out Jack by going to the guillotine square. Can we actually go into his house yet, or, or at all? Or is that a no? I think it's just pulling his screaming uh, thing. Nope. But I'm going to sub out Jack for uh, Goofy, and then I'm going to do that Trinity uh, in front of Oogie's mansion real quick. And then we'll go to Neverland, and um, I'll probably stop once I get there. But I do want to make sure I get there. Oh, hey, look, everyone's here. <laughs> you can definitely tell it's a PS1, or sorry, PS2 game, because there's like four characters from a movie that has like 20 famous characters in it. I'm going to save right now, just because. And then I'll just run over there real quick, if you just stick with me. And we have, we'll just figure it out. Okay. See, I don't understand. I would never have found this if I was a little kid. It doesn't even look distinct, you know? A game that I really want to play on the stream is Fable. Uh, Fable is one of my all-time favorite games. I love that game so much. It's so good. Um, let me do Fira. Fire! And wait for it to come down. Here we go. And extend the finger. Thank you. I wish they just play the whole song, because I... Uh, the music by Danny Elfman is just so good. Oh, I didn't switch out... Oh my gosh, guys. It's been a long day, I told you. I didn't switch out Donald. Shoot. I didn't switch out for Goofy, you know? For this Trinity. I'll just run back real quick and do it. Then we'll be on our way to uh, Neverland. I always think it's weird when you're sick, how, um, Art Dodge is now auto-hosting for up to five viewers. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Artful Dodge. Um, I know he's not on right now, but it's always nice to see him, um, uh, streaming and also just being his generally cool, awesome self. I really like his artwork, too. You should check it out. If you're not following Artful Dodge, I definitely recommend it. Um... He's a cool guy. We went to college together, and I discovered that he was a streamer as well, and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Uh, he has far more followers than I do, but uh, but he's, he's always really, really nice and always really supportive and stuff, so I'm always happy to talk to Dodge, and I think we're going to actually try to get a stream together soon. That'd be fun because, uh, you know, we've been talking about it, but now that I have my PC and all that stuff, we can finally play different games together and... Maybe this weekend be good, because, uh, my girlfriend's out of town and I'm alone, so, you know. Sorry, my hair is getting crazy. It just has a mind of its own sometimes. It just kind of drifts. Okay. Now I'm going to do that Trinity real quick, and I'm sorry for taking so long. And then we're going to go on to Neverland, and that will be a good place to stop. But yeah, for my first playthrough of, uh, Kingdom Hearts, really, really enjoying it. It's such a fun game. I'm so sad I didn't finish it when I was uh, 11, when I first started playing it. But, you know, if anything goes to show you, technology is amazing. And there's always time to, you know, rediscover stuff, so... I'm happy to be playing it. I'm happy that you're here. And that we're getting to experience it together, so... But yeah, if you guys ever have any, like, suggestions as to new or other games that I could play, I'm totally for it. Just tell me. I'll add it to a list. I know, um... Okay, who said? They said Escapist 2 would be a good game. 
There's a game about escaping some sort of... I don't know, prison or something like that? can't remember in particular, but... I, you know, I added it to my Steam wish list, so it's on there, so... Recommend something for the Steam. I am getting paid now, because I do have that job, so, uh... Not to brag, but, you know... Definitely can uh, be putting some money down for games for the stream. The stream's really important to me, so... I always feel... I never feel guilty about spending money on it. I still have Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, too. I need to play. That's mostly because I just love Dragon Ball Z. I'm not even a, like a fighting game person, but it was just so like beautifully animated. I couldn't help myself. Oh, by the way, we should we should equip our second chance. Is what I wanted to say. So yes, stun impact. We get guard. Berserk. Lap shot. Hmm. Hmm. You, you might be able to hear my. My, uh, cat meowing really loudly. 99. That indie game. Was that you that told me Escape is 2? Escape is 2? Oh, come here. Come here, Gwen. I'm gonna try to get Gwen on. Oh, oh, oh. I got her. I got her. I didn't get her. She ran away. <laughs> she didn't She didn't feel like it tonight. I'm sorry. I, I tried. We'll get her eventually. Oh, man. Second chance. I need five. Maybe I'll just wait till I level up. I don't want to lose scan because I like seeing HP. I don't know why. Berserk boost power and low. I guess I could do Berserk and slap shot. Rapidly strike enemies ahead of you. Sonic Blade. Hmm. I don't know. I, I like using Sonic Blade, but I don't. Maybe I don't. I don't use it as much as I should. So maybe I'll do second chance for right now. And then when we get back to that, we can equip it. I don't know. I'm just thinking, I'm just just spitballing here, you know? And then I just want to change my equipment to uh, Crab Claw and check the Pumpkin Head. MP goes down but has a long reach and critical blows, so... Why not? We're here, we're gonna save it, and then we're gonna jump off. No, it wasn't, but I think it looks interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know it is an indie game, and I would love to play it. And I forget, who, I honestly forget who recommended it to me, but I think um, I'll get it soon, because it looks really fun. And now we're boarding the gummy ship, oh god. Pumpkin Prince Trophy, hey, we earned it. I like this game enough that I know that I'm going to have to platinum it, which is a bummer because I'm going to have to play it like three times, but it's not a bummer, right? That's fun. I don't mind playing it. The only thing I do mind probably is these gummy ship parts, because I don't, I don't understand it. It's not that I don't like them, I just don't get it. Like what is what is this? This looks like a '90s Mac uh, art program or something, you know? Like I just don't get what it is, and the style of it is so contrary to the rest of the game. It's just bizarre. And, and please pardon my really really ugly ship. I just threw a bunch of defensive uh, modules onto it real quick, so it's not the best looking, but it gets the job done. It's like the Millennium Falcon, right? Which, I don't know, they always said it looked like garbage. I thought it looked really cool. But that's just me. I'm a sucker for the shape. I feel like that shape is so... I don't know why it became iconic, but there's something so pleasing about it. The YT-1300 Corellian Freighter, if uh, you didn't know. Um, but I would say, I will say, the Slave 1 is still my favorite ship from Star Wars. Mostly because I love Boba Fett. I know there's no reason really to like him besides his cool character design, but I have a really good idea for a movie for him, so keep an eye out if I actually get to uh, write films eventually, because, I don't know, I feel like I can nail that pitch, but I can't say it here, I need to keep it close to the chest. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, are we at Neverland yet? I feel like we should be soon. No? Okay. More of these weird little things. Oh man, I can't even describe to you how excited I am for this weekend. It's been such a long week. And my job is like, it goes really fast, but for some reason, like, this was... So I'm working on this, uh... This, I'm working for a company that's doing two television pilots. And they're staggered, so they're one's, like, finishing next week, and another one's finishing... 
in mid-April or like early to mid-April. And the thing is, this is the only, the only time, uh, the only week that they're overlapping. And uh, that's why it's just been so crazy because it's two different shows happening at the same time, and it's just tiring. <laughs> so much stuff to do every day, but tomorrow at like noon, I'll be really, really excited. So you're on the stream tomorrow night. Follow. Uh, so you know I'll be on because it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be really excited, very tired, but I feel like it's gonna be a really fun one. We might even just play through the end of Kingdom Hearts, just for fun. Am I gonna meet Peter right now? I'm really ex excited. I didn't think you'd come. Where's it, Riku again? <gasps> oh, Riku, you with your perfectly feathered hair. Where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? More important than old Jeez, friends. this guy really has it out for you. I don't know why. Instead of worrying about them. You should be asking. We've been looking for Kyrie the whole time. And you, Riku. Kyrie! Maybe That's stop right. being such a weirdo. While you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Not so oh no, fast. shenanigans. No shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have oh no. nothing to fear. I didn't realize that Sora has such a well-defined lashes. My heart's too strong. Like I said before, if I had unlimited wishes like Timmy Turner, I'd definitely wish for everyone to have um, anime hair and the proportions of uh, these feet and hands in this game because they're ridiculous. Also, side note. A lot of people Sora say uh, Hook is not a good movie, a and land. I say to that, how dare you? Hook is wonderful. <laughs> that scurvy brat thinks it makes it me happy. To be around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing. The hold is crawling with That person who does the Hook voice in this is really, really good. But Captain, you know who is also down. Is he the guy, the same person who did uh, Droopy? Dreadful sound. I always love the part where Bob Hoskins, Bob Hoskins, you know, uh, rest easy. Um, I always love that part in Hook where he's trying to find Smee, and he's like, Smee, Smee, find Smee. I'm, I'm Smee. It's a great, it's a great moment. Yeah, it was definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. Let's go talk to her, man. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, but first. Oh ho ho. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It doesn't look too bad, me. The whole hanging out, laying on your friend. <clears throat> How you doing there? Looking for a way out? Yeah. It's my boy Peter, child thief, perpetual, perpetual teenager. <laughs> okay then. Fine. Have it your way. But you're stuck He's like a menace. Too, I always thought I like. Nope, Sounds like him. Someone. Hello. Nope. Yeah. Basically, he steals children. Tinker, I mean, well, what took you so long? I guess you know. Yeah, it's okay to be young Good forever, job. in well, spirit. Lady. But uh, I don't know. I always thought Peter Pan was there kind was of a jerk. Especially in the. Oh, this Are is gonna crazy? be weird. <laughs> the Jason Isaacs Jeremy here. Sumter version. The end when they have oh, Captain Hook floating oh, over the the ocean. And he's trying to fly and trying to believe. And these children and Peter are like cheering for his death by crocodile. On, or is it alligator or whatever. It's alligator, I think. <clears throat> his death by alligator. That's like so dark. Hmm. Like, Peter Pan. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not behind We're that, Peter. Together, but only till we find Wendy. Just so obsessed with Wendy. Um, I, was supposed to, I was supposed to keep Peter... Or Goofy, or sorry, gosh, I was supposed to keep Donald. I think again, from what I read, maybe not. Look at Peter. Ah, oh, Peter Pan. What a magical movie. A little uh, insensitive in a lot of ways, I think. But it doesn't seem like we're gonna be getting into that, so that's good, right? Um, but even back then, they were forward thinking <laughs> to not include that stuff in this game. Um. Okay, so, a bunch of Heartless here in this hold. It's about 12.30. You have to wake up in like six hours for... Oh, is this my shadow? Ooh, level up. Max items. 
<laughs> oh, I just didn't realize I was gonna hug this pole. Oh, Sora. I always have time. I always have time for a hug. Let's just see it again one more time. Come on, Sora, grab onto it. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, I probably will call it for a night. Just for my sake tomorrow morning, because I do have to be there early. I have to be there at 8, so that's not ideal. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> just looks so silly. Um, but yeah. So, have I ever tried alligator? Uh, I saw... Have I eaten alligator? I think I might have. And I sincerely did not like it. It was very tough and jerky-like. And I just wasn't into it. So, um... There's certain things like why I eat it. I don't. I don't know. It just didn't hit me the right way. But I do have to wake up really soon. So I think I'm gonna sign off here for tonight. But um, wow, Mom Bumbles, so buff can't wipe. Uh, 99 as always. Thanks everyone for being here. Crazy clicks. Um, an artful dodge for the host and Mom Bumbles for the host. Thank you all so much for being here. I'll definitely be on tomorrow. I might just finish Kingdom Hearts tomorrow if I have a long enough stream. Um, I'm alone this weekend, so I'll definitely do Saturday and Sunday as well. But yeah, if you're watching and um, you're not a follower, feel free to follow and you'll see when I'm back on. Um, I feel like we're making a really cool community. I just got affiliate, which is great. Good stream today. Thanks, Crazy Clicks. I'm glad you're still here. Um, yeah, I just got affiliate, so I feel like we're still building a fun community. And it seems like it's just steadily growing, you know, at a good rate. And I'm looking very much looking forward to the future the next five Kingdom Hearts games and then six I guess including Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, the Final Fantasy series which I'm looking forward to as well and I know Mama Bumbles is looking forward to as well and of course uh, more Overwatch and that sort of fun stuff so congrats on my first raid thank you and thanks to Mama Bumbles for that raid that was awesome um, and we received the blessing that is too buff can't wipe or so buff can't wipe not too buff that's a different person but yeah thanks so much everyone for being here Make name for community. Exactly. I don't know if what I would want to call it. The hunters, the headhunters. That seems so aggressive. We'll, we'll figure it out. It'll come naturally. It's not as cool as Mama Bumble's high, The Hive, which is really fun. So I, I do admire that. But anyway, thanks so much, everyone. Uh, and all my followers and everyone who's not a follower just watching. I value you. And um, I'll see you soon. So have a great night. And uh, yeah. See you later. Now watch me as I lean over in my computer and uh, try to find how to turn off my stream. <laughs> okay.